what is up guys welcome to the channel we are actually doing something different something which i have what i have never done before and this is pretty much exciting because we are going to repair this leather saddlebag so before we start do anything with this saddlebag let's see what we actually got and what we need to repair what is wrong with this saddlebags and actually um, what is the main damage Okay, so as you can see there is a several really bad damages on this bag. The most serious is ripped off the belt, torn top of the bag in two places and the place in the corner is unfixable. Mm, the reason for that is that uh, this place uh, in this bag is bending too much during the opening and closing so gluing it won't, won't help at all. Um, broken seam and the missing part of the leather on the bag burn on the bottom and this is definitely unfixable and of course the bags are completely out of shape but this is not a big deal I think we are going to fix it at the beginning um, so guys let's remove all of the straps and uh, start to washing <laughs> so I've washed saddlebags and removed all of the plastic plate which was damaged and what is interesting is that during the washing I realized that this material is not a real leather in fact it is something synthetic and to be honest I have absolutely no idea what is this so if you know anything about this material please let me know down in the comment I'm really curious anyway because this is not a leather it is something synthetic and uh, getting it wet won't help. It is also not possible to reshape it now, but during the washing with warm water the bags was softer. So I made a test. I've heated up one part, shape it to the original shape, stabilize it and let it to cool down. And it works. So let's heat it up and reshape it. So guys, look at this, this is amazing. This is after uh, maybe 20 minutes of heat up. This is the uh, before and the after effect. It is absolutely cool. It looks like, maybe not new, but this is amazing change between those two saddlebags. So I think I will do exactly the same thing to the another one and also uh, clean it a little bit using some house cleaning cream. There is still some dirt on this uh, bag so I think it's a really good moment to completely remove it.
Okay, so this is unexpected. This looks absolutely cool. Okay, so I've been thinking how to fix the rips of part and the best way I guess is to rivet it higher and create a new connection. So I will punch a three, four, maybe five holes and to rivet it together. And what is important is that the line of the new rivets will be on the same height um, that the edge of the side and the front of the back. And um, I would want to do this exactly this way because the connection will be supporting the line where the top of the back begins. And I believe this will help to uh, create more stable and the right shape of the saddleback. The second thing is to fix the belt and call me lazy but I want to cheat it a little bit and not remove all of the original belt. In fact, I don't want to remove it at all. What I was thinking about is um, to remove an inch, inch and a half of the threads, put a new belt underneath and sew it again. And the reason for this is that I want to avoid sewing it manually. It will be extremely time consuming and I really don't want to do this. So let's get to work. Yeah, it is uh, of course uh, useless because I need to create a holes in the middle of the letter so I won't use it at all. Um, and um, the fun part is that I was actually thinking about buying some uh, punch holes and I did not. Don't ask me why. Luckily, I can create it and it is pretty much easy. What you need is to get 10mm thick bar, drill a hole in the center with the right diameter, um, in my case it would be 3mm, then chamfer the edge and sharp it and at the end cut some hole where the cutted material will could be removed and this is pretty much it so let's start So guys, I'm absolutely thrilled, this is amazing effect and I didn't thought that it would be that cool looking. But there is still a few things that must be fixed and what we are going to do right now is we are going to fix the front of the back. As you can see there is a little bend despite the reshaping and I believe that if I not support the edge somehow the front will be bended. 
So I will rivet the metal plate to this edge and I think it will be just enough to make the front side flat. So let's make it! So the front is fixed and it looks good. I also glued the top of the back and uh, it shouldn't be a problem at all. And what we are going to do right now is we are going to fix the bottom of the back. And I also want to use some metal plate and create a corner brace, then rivet it inside the back and cover the hole where the leather is missing. So let's do this. So the last thing I must do is to create a buckless connector which um, connect the plastic and the metal bucklets. Um, I think I will use as a template uh, one of three which I got and it will be the most easy way to do this. Sleep. 
Okay guys, so we are finally finished. I'm super happy how it looks. The backs are awesome. I didn't thought that the difference would be that much tremendous. And I think it would be the best if you see it yourself. So check this out. guys i hope you enjoyed this video please um, give a thumbs up subscribe my channel if you like and also if you have any question you can ask me down below in the comments and see you soon mm -hmm.